The frog splash is one of wrestling's most spectacular aerial moves. It's one of the most eye-catching maneuvers as the wrestler literally leaps into the sky before crashing down on their opponent. Those moments in the air make the person performing the move seem like a superhero as they gracefully soar through the sky. Today, we'll highlight the wrestlers who did the move best as we list the top 10 users of the Frog Splash. An honorable mention goes to Mexican wrestler La Fiera, who was the first person to use the Frog Splash back in the 1980s. Sure, it's evolved since he first began hitting it, but Fiera holds the distinction of being the innovator of the Frog Splash. Number 10, Art Bar. Art Bar is one of the men credited with popularizing the Frog Splash in the 90s. Its name is in reference to how Art resembled a frog when performing the maneuver, and it was this technique that helped make the move look so impressive. Had his life and career not been tragically cut short, Barr would have certainly ranked higher on the list. Number 9, Christian. Although Captain Charisma didn't dive as gracefully as some of the other entries on the list, he was one of the wrestlers that adopted the frog splash as a regular move following Eddie Guerrero's passing. Christian did this as a tribute to Eddie, and now anytime we see Christian climb to the top and leap through the air, we think of Latino Heat. Oh! Number 8, Chavo Guerrero. Chavo was another wrestler who introduced the frog splash into his arsenal following the death of Eddie. Chavo with a frog splash! Frog splash to the back! And there's the frog splash! And Chavo right with a frog splash! And now Chavo! It was a special moment when Chavo defeated JBL with the frog splash on the first episode of SmackDown following Eddie's death. What a moment this is, Cole! Chavo continued to use the frog splash, pointing to the sky in honor of his uncle before executing the move. Number 7, Rey Mysterio. Mysterio will likely go down as wrestling's greatest ever high flyer. We've seen him perform all sorts of different high flying maneuvers throughout his career. The frog splash was just another strong addition to his aerial offense. On the verge of becoming United States champion! Frog splash! No way! Frog splash! He's got it! No way! The 619 acted as the setup while the frog splash gave fans the big finish. Once again, reminding us of Latino heat. Ray has since passed down the frog splash to his son Dominic Mysterio as the legacy of Eddie Guerrero continues to live on. Number 6, Kevin Owens. Owens' frog splash was particularly powerful given how much weight came crashing down on the opponent. That's 270 pounds! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Owens might not be as quick and nimble as the other entries on our list, but this is what makes his frog splash so effective, since it focuses more on creating the most impact rather than getting the most height. Don't you dare, no, Kevin! No, 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 Kevin, no! Kevin's version of the move has previously been referred to as the bullfrog splash due to how much extra force Owens can generate as a result of his size. KO has also hit the frog splash in some of the most unique ways. So remember the bad ribs of oh, Number 5, Seth Rollins. Rollins has put his body on the line countless times when hitting the frog splash. He's hit the moves in numerous different match types and in a variety of different ways. Rollins top rope, Cesaro nowhere to go. Rollins, Whoa! oh my goodness! With flawless technique and clean execution, Rollins is one of the most impressive frog splashes in wrestling. Rollins can't get there! No Absolutely way. no way! Bad hip at all! Yes! We've seen Seth do all types of different flips in the past, but he's always gone back to the frog splash, and that's no surprise given its power and popularity. Rollins continues to build on the move by upping the risk factor. Rollins going for everything he's got! Number 4, D'Lo Brown. D'Lo performed the move as a way to pay homage to Art Bar, who D'Lo greatly admired. And that's no surprise given how D'Lo's frog splash shares the closest resemblance to Art's. D'Lo can't, he can't reach him with this. Oh, oh, no. Nice move, brother. That's over with me, man. That's over, man. Oh, yeah. It was a thing of beauty to watch D'Lo's version of the frog splash, which was dubbed as the lowdown. Brown flew through the sky as 260 pounds collided with the opponent on the mat. Top rope! Wow! Oh, D'Lo went up high to then come low down. Right back 
Rivers for yet oh, the lowdown from D'Lo Brown. Number three, Montez Ford. It's long since been said that no one gets higher than RVD. And while that is true in one sense, when it comes to the frog splash, Montez Ford gets more height than anyone. So much so that he christened the move from the heavens. I will make sure it's going to be so hot to the point they're not even going to call it a frog splash. They're going to literally call it from the heavens. From the heavens! No! From the heavens! From the heavens! Wow, he transitioned there, buddy! And given how high and how far Ford can jump, one would think he's incredibly comfortable in the air. But believe it or not, Montez is actually afraid of heights. I am afraid of heights. Batman is actually afraid of bats. So I thought it was the same way. If you're afraid of something, then maybe just keep tackling every time. Ford uses the frog splash as a finisher at a time when other wrestlers use it as a signature move. This meant that Ford's take on the maneuver had to stand out. And stand out it certainly did. Inspired by users of the move that came before him. Rob Van Dam and Eddie Guerrero. I try to have a combination of mix of the both of them. Eddie went his impact because when Eddie hit it, it just looked like it just, bah, it just took out whatever it was in the person, it was gone. And also Rob Van Dam's height and his range. I've seen him hit it from like so many different areas in the ring. Those are like my two favorite ones. I'm gonna try to have a mixture of both of them. Montez continues to take the frog splash to new heights. Top rope! Number two, Rob Van Dam. Van Dam's version was fittingly named the Five Star Frog Splash. This was coined by commentator Joey Styles as a shot at Dave Meltzer. Since Styles believed Meltzer hadn't been giving ECW the credit they deserved, the Five Star Frog Splash allowed RVD to jump as high as possible into the air and then come down with the greatest amount of impact. My arms are bent more. He gets up there, extends. Maybe why I go so much higher than he does too. It didn't matter where his opponent was positioned or what angle Van Damme was jumping from. He could swing and bend his body in midair and still land perfectly. Yeah! He turned in midair with a five-star frog splash. Rob landed with so much impact he'd sell the effects of the move. If it had taken that much out of the whole left in show, imagine the damage done to the opponent. Yeah! Oh, no! No! A five-star frog splash. He might have a commotion. The five star frog splash allowed RVD to reach the very top of the industry when he captured the WWE Championship at ECW One Night Stand 2006. We need a roof go! Yeah! Hover! What the hell? Yeah! I guess! Alright! <laughs> Number one, Eddie Guerrero. To be ranked higher than the five star frog splash, then you know Guerrero's version of the move had to be something special. Eddie first began using the move after watching La Fiera in Mexico. I really liked his technique and just his style. You know, I took that move and I did it my way. Guerrero built on La Fiera's technique by adding more of a pump motion in the air as Eddie kept his hands together, bringing his knees close to his body before extending out. He does more like what you do on a diving board with his arms more straight out. Frog splash and a the move was originally known as the jackknife splash, given how fast the mid-air action resembled a quick-drawing folding knife of the same name. Guerrero's tag team partner, Art Bar, inherited the maneuver from Eddie, where it then became the frog splash. See, the frog splash, um, Art stole that from me. I was doing that way before Art got hold of it. He used to do it with the legs out and he looked like actually a frog in the air. That's how they got the name, the frog splash. Then after Art's passing, Guerrero used the move as his finisher in honor of his former tag partner. After Art passed away, I kind of kept doing it. The move brought Eddie massive success, as any time he was feeling froggy, the fans would rise, excited to see Latino Heat soar like an eagle. This gave us some absolutely classic moments. Few wrestlers had a connection with the audience like Eddie Guerrero, and the frog splash was just one of the ways Eddie felt larger than life. Guerrero up on top. Look at Van Dam's positioning. Can Eddie Guerrero even reach him? Frog splash! Oh, oh, Eddie! No, Eddie, no! Don't Eddie. do it! No way, no way! Oh, my God! Frog splash! And that brings us to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you like this one, be sure to check out our video on top 10 greatest Eddie Guerrero lie, cheat, and steal moments. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.